same. So all the cheat code are on the whiteboard now. So you look at the diagram. Before you look at the statement, you look at the diagram, you know there's a cir cir circular body there. So it's a collinear motion. Right? You sure you need to use normal and tangent equation. All right. So the motor show in the photo used to turn a wheel and attach blower contained within the housing. So it's, it's similar like this. So there's a wheel, point A, point B. The dimension is given, direction was given. Okay, the turning direction was given. So if you look at the question and the question give you alpha and not acceleration, alpha, it means it already go into rigid body chapter. You need to look at angular dimension, uh, angular velocity, angular acceleration dimension. A pulley A connected to the motor begin to rotate from rest. Means you are given the first velocity of A and with a constant angular acceleration, alpha A. You look at the constant angular acceleration or constant acceleration, you know you can use the three motion equation. Okay, so you're given the alpha in radian. Uh, and also when you come to rigid body, you always see round body revolution. Okay, revolution means one round. So one revolution equal to 360 equal to two pi radian. So you do conversion, yeah? you do conversion. Okay. Now you need to do determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of point P or this one. Okay. After the pulley have turned two revolution. After this A turn two revolution. So there's a transition of motion there. Yeah? Transition of motion. Assume the transition belt do not slip on the pulley and wheel. Means this the 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 full motion was transferred, means there's no slip. Uh, when it slip means there's a, a error, uh, the error in the distance traveled by both object. So since we are in uh, chapter five, we start to look at angular motion. So first we look at pulley A, it tell you turn how many revolution. Again, it's a standard procedure. Uh, engine dynamics, the step always the same. Uh, always the same, no matter how the question change. Huh? First, for chapter five, you look at uh, revolution. So it turned to revolution. So you convert into degree. Huh? So two revolution, equal, uh, uh, sorry, you, you convert into radian first because all the parameter in angular velocity and all this, we use radian unit. So two revolution equal to two pi. So you have 12.57 radian. You convert the theta, the revolution into how many radian? Then because of the constant acceleration of A or uh, angular acceleration, so you can pick one of the equation on the whiteboard here, either one, to find the missing information. In this case, you want to find the omega A. You want to find the speed of pulley A, the angular velocity. So here we use omega square. You can use others, huh? but this, this uh, example, we use omega square equal to omega zero square plus two alpha and a change of angle. So we need to find omega square equal, initially it do not turn, it's done from rest, right? So no, no, uh, no velocity, no angular velocity, haven't turned, so zero. Two, alpha copy from question, it gives you constant, so two radian per second square. The change of angle initially, uh, this is the N angle and initial angle. So you have 12.57 radian minus alpha zero. Okay, because this one is zero, okay. Then you you solve the the question, you square it, you get seven point something. Unit radian per second. Okay, 
in this case, you follow the diagram. You follow the diagram. Uh, for A is you follow the blue uh, blue arrow is a uh, uh, clockwise direction. Okay. So second one, the belt have the same speed and tangent component acceleration as it pass over the pulley and wheel. So we link the velocity between A and B. The speed is same. So when you come to angular body or angular acceleration in chapter five, what I wrote on the whiteboard with green color, this one, you link the velocity. Velocity always, uh, when you have two body in angular body, uh, in rigid body, you, you, you link with V equal to omega R. So here, omega A R equal to omega B R, this one. Okay, because the velocity is same. The belt is turning the same speed. The velocity is the same. So you substitute the value. Omega A, you know, you find seven something just now. R is given in a question in meter. Uh, when it comes to assessment, we like we always like to uh, trick you with mm uh, and so on. Huh? So change to unit SI meter. Then omega b, you need to find r or b was given 0.4 meter. So here, what is missing is your angular velocity for b. So you find your angular velocity for b. And same. Your acceleration also same. Huh? Acceleration and tangent direction also same. Acceleration equal to alpha r. This one, this one, huh? Alpha equal to, sorry, not alpha. A equal to alpha R. You link with the, the angular motion with the previous chapter. Then you substitute. Why we can write this one? Because the velocity is same on the belt. Velocity same. So acceleration also same. So alpha A is two radian given by the question. Radius was given in the diagram. Alpha B missing and RB was given. So you have alpha B. You need no longer meter over second square. You are dealing with angular or rigid body is in radian over second square. Okay. You have omega A, omega B, alpha B. You need to look at point P. So general flow of, calcu uh, of calculation for chapter five, you convert all the levelation into how many radian? You convert how many revolution into radian? Then you link the two body with the three motion equation in angular term. Then you look at the diagram, there will be something same with its velocity will be the same. So velocity same in angular, you use omega r. Velocity same, acceleration also same. You change with alpha r. Okay, then number four, the question will continue to see. So you look at P, you draw free body diagram of P. You look at P, you, you pull out the diagram of P, you enlarge it, you look at P, P move in a circular motion. You remember back what you did for uh, your previous chapter in particles, you have normal and tangent direction. So here, the next one, Always focus on acceleration. A, you have AT and AN. Okay, so on the diagram here, you split your acceleration vector into normal direction, which is pointing inside the circle, and T will be follow the 
tangent direction of your velocity. Because it's a circle. Okay. Yeah. Why pointing this way? Because it's rotate clockwise. It rotate in this direction. So particle pointing this way. Okay. Then once you find your normal A, you find your normal uh, P, then you can find the magnitude and direction of your uh, P. Yeah. Again, pull back. We look at P. Velocity of P will be linked back to angular velocity in R. And this one, you, P was at object B. So you use B angular velocity, B radius. Uh, you just substitute the value you get just now. Then you find velocity of P in meter per second. You convert radian per second into meter per second. Okay, this one you focus on acceleration, velocity, and so on. Huh? A also same. A you still use back alpha r because velocity same, alpha uh, the acceleration also same. You substitute the value, you get meter per second square. Okay. You can find the AN uh, here, a bit new. So AN here, what I write on the whiteboard here, what is your AN for rigid body? Omega square R. The formula for AN is omega square R for magnitude, uh, for the magnitude. Uh. So omega square R, you have your, sorry, uh, you have, uh, yeah. You have your uh, omega, two point something, square, 0 0.4. Normal mistake I've seen in a previous assessment, student will forget about the square. You write omega r, because you're so used to v, when it comes to acceleration, your brain will trick you, you will forget about the square here. Okay, you get tangent direction acceleration, normal direction acceleration. Uh, so here, you use back this, this uh, AN, AT, now for R, AN, omega square, R. Okay. Huh? Uh, no, negative, it just means the direction. We, we, we are more interested in finding the magnitude. You know that here, this is N, right? It's pointing in because from the diagram, you already show pointing in. Right? Uh. Okay. Uh. okay. So, you, this is from your diagram. Huh? It's from your diagram. So, your diagram here, is pointing in and here, so the direction is from here. You extract directly from your free body diagram. Ah. The negative previous in the previous slides is because you are you're dealing with R direction. You're, 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 you're linked with the R direction, R and theta direction, uh, axis. So that's why you see a negative in the derivation. Okay, so you find the magnitude, you are expert already, square plus square, square root. So you get the AP. Okay, any question? You see the flow, huh? First, look at the question. How many revolution you have? Change to radian. Second, look at the question. Uh, what are the equations they can use? The three motion equation. Which one you can use? There will be something missing inside the, the one of the three equations. Right? If you have two more than two parameter that is missing. For example, uh, if if you are missing alpha, so you use the first one. If theta is missing, use the second one. If you need to find the alpha and theta and omega, you use the third one. So this is how you, you, you use that, right? 
Okay, so again, recall previously we our motion have translation means move in the plane, move in the straight line. And also there's a collinear motion means also plane, but it's like a wiper equation, uh, wiper motion. And then there's a rotation and mix rotation and uh, uh, translation. Okay. So now we look at gen, uh, the third one. Mix of two, huh? mix of two. So when you have mix of two, we freeze the time. We look at the time dimension. So we recall what is the velocity definition. Velocity equal to position dt. Acceleration dv dt. When you look at angular body, v become omega, s become theta, Ooh. alpha will replace the a, right? Uh, okay, so let's look at this example. Huh? So this is a, uh, it's very rare to see in Malaysia, but this is a truck with a, this, uh, what call? this object here can tilt one, and then the sand can fall and so on. So there is a dimension here. So there's an arm, point A, point B, there's a hydraulic piston here. And then there's distance, uh, this link, this pin and this pin, there's a distance B, so AC there, and then there's a S. Okay, B to C, there's a distance there. So this is the dumping bin. It rotate about the fixed axis pass through pin A here. I mean this this uh, this uh, pin. It will rotate. Right? It will rotate. It's like um, okay. This this bin is rotate this way. This this whole thing is rotate this way. Okay. So during this operation, hydraulic works. Right, piston BC will extend. Oh, sorry, BC extend. Huh? So BC will push the 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 bin to change angle. Okay, this one original like that, it will change like that. Plus this one pushing. So your S is is changing. Right. So angular position of bin can be specific. So angular position of the bin, you can be using the theta and so on. Okay, so for today, homework, recall science rules, call science rules. You need call science rules huh, now. Uh, chapter five onwards. First one, S equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cos theta, okay? Or s square equal to a plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. Okay, so if you draw the circle, this is s, this is b, this is a, this is uh, theta. Okay, this cosine rules because you don't have 90 degree cases. Previously, particles, you all the sine, tangent, cos, that one is right angle cases, right triangular cases. Those they apply here, you can use tangent, sine, cos theta. But here, when you come to rigid body, there's no longer uh 90 degree angle of course when you substitute 90 degree here you still get back the sine tangent equation okay but this is more more general lah. so from today onwards go back to the sine cosine rules all right okay okay so and from s here s is the distance you need to recall back 
what is the time differentiation it deal with sine and cos equation okay it because you have a s here so here you need to how to find position to velocity ds dt so you need to change cos i mean you need to do differentiation of dt over cos theta something okay you need to you need to consider differentiation of cos cos become sign and so on that one you go go and flip your mathematics uh. okay let's look at example okay let's look at example okay example three you have a spring system and you're given again you see omega you see alpha it means you are in chapter five onwards in rigid body dimension and you see R, you see theta confirm is chapter five onwards, right? And you see cylindrical body means you need to use uh, normal and tangent equation. Okay, so you see rectangular and so on. So you, you will sure have a reference point and another point. And a block R maintain contact with the cam by mean of spring, this spring contact with R, if the cam rotates about axis passing through point O here, with the angular acceleration alpha and angular velocity omega, determine the velocity acceleration of the road when the cam is in arbitrary position theta. It means you need to find what is the acceleration of R here. Okay, rock, huh? this rock. So it just still recall back the fundamental derivation of the equation. So you fix your coordinate system first, right? Coordinate system. You change the point, for example, OC, your C to B to one of the r dimension you change your coordinate system into a polar system so oc here you have the r so you use this uh, cost uh, uh, relationship you get oc c, uh, c to b will equal to r cos theta so your x your total distance from O to R or O to B will be 2R cross theta. Okay. So, you know your X equal to 2R cross theta. You need to find speed, right? So, you, you, you D, X, D, X, D, T, you find the velocity. Okay. So, you need to use change rules, huh? Again, if you don't know what chain rule, go to Canvas, find Appendix B or C, I forget, right? but there's a information there. So you know that velocity equal to dx dt. Here, you have two terms here. One is r, one is cos. So chain rules, u and v, so you break them. Lah. Okay. Uh, I will skip the process. Huh? So you go home and look at the equation. So dx, dt, you do chain rules, you will get this one. Okay. Then you convert uh, d theta, d, d theta, dt. This one is your velocity, angular velocity. All right, this one, the angular velocity, d theta dt. This one you change to omega. So in chapter five, we always want to convert into angular dimension or angular velocity, angular velocity. So you try to find the x, y, what is x, what is y, then change it to angular motion. So first we convert v equal to minus two r omega sine theta from the diagram. Same with the acceleration. Acceleration, 
dv dt, this is your v. You need to do time differentiation. Okay, chain rules, this is u, this is v. So you do r, you pull out omega dt, sign you, you, you maintain, 2r, r, r is a constant, right? r is a constant, you just pull out. You just focus on the sign for the second part. Sign you differentiate, you get cos theta, right? Then d theta, you rewrite the equation. This one, d omega dt, you get alpha. Okay, then this one, d theta dt is omega, 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 you get omega square. So you get something like huh? And uh, what else? Ah, cos, you differentiate with time, you get negative sine theta. Go back to the trigonometry uh, differentiation. Cos to sine is negative. Huh? Then you arrive at, you simplify the equation, you get the one highlight with the red color, uh, uh, yellow color. You pull the R out, factor out. So again, uh, the rest you read, uh, negative signs, what does it mean? Huh? So negative sign here, you get negative, is because the velocity and alpha, the acceleration are positive or direction of uh, X. You see the datum? The arrow pointing here. Okay. Okay, another one. Example four. You see a body is like a, you know, your car bonnet. Nah. You open the bonnet, there's a two, two piston, small piston there. Right, so it's like arm piston arm there. Then this object will can rotate up and down. It will fix at O. Okay, so when S move, when this uh, arm move, this object will move up and down. And you have a fixed and a fixed distance O to A. The change of angle is over here from here to here. So it's a. Uh, the positive, if you look at the diagram, is anticlockwise. You refer to the diagram, right? Positive this way. And O, B is 1, B to the another end is 1. So a big window is open using hydraulic cylinder AB. If the cylinder extends at a constant rate, cylinder with this one, it extends at a constant rate 0.5 meter per second. 0.5 meters per second over here, meaning this is your velocity. Eh? This is your velocity, which is this one, S. S convert to V, you get this one, 0.5 meters per second. Determine the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the window at the instant when your theta is 30 degrees. So this one will move up, right? Push, will push up at a constant rate, 0 0.5 meter per second. You want to find what is the this window, this blue color object, what is the S, what is the angular velocity and angular acceleration when this angle reaches 30 degrees? Uh, because the blue is angular motion, uh, is angular motion. So you need to change um, the coordinate system accordingly. How you link the normal V to A again on the whiteboard here, I write already, uh, V equal to omega r, a equal to alpha r. Basically, what you need, you need omega and alpha to find these two. What are the equation? Uh, these three. How to find these three? Move back the definition of this one and this one. Okay, so first, build your free body diagram first by giving coordinate. Okay, the rest you rule. Huh? Okay, here you need a cosine rules. This is a cosine rules that uh, previously, example you write huh? on the whiteboard here, previously is your S, same. C squared equal to A squared plus B squared 
minus 2ab cos theta is this one, this triangular. Okay, so it depends on what angle is given. Then you put, uh, you want to find, if you are given this C, then you are looking at this, this direction, then one of it will be missing. Yeah, so cosine rules is important in chapter five onwards. So, you find your S using cosine rules. This is a, a non-uniform triangular. You look, look at a given point, O, B, and A, you will form a triangular. But it's not a right angle. So, you need to use cosine rules. What angle is given? This one, C, over here. So, I just change my C into theta. And the rest, I just substitute with the diagram. So my C is here. It's my S. So I substitute my C with S. I substitute my A. My A is here. A is my OB. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Same now, huh? You see, actually, I, I should flip this one. Okay. It should, I should flip these two, lah. But you still get a squared plus b squared. Yeah. Minus 2ab cos theta. Uh, okay. Uh, don't 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 make make, make yourself uh, feel that complicated. Uh. You just you just use back the cosine rules. Draw this triangular every time you see chapter 5 question. Draw this one. Write this one. Then try to rotate this triangular to the question. You try to rotate. I mean, if angle is there, then you rotate one of it inside there. Uh, then you, you substitute the, the side accordingly. Then you solve the missing piece. Okay? Uh, you, you do. Uh, you do then. Uh, uh, Yeah. Uh, oh. I think typo error here. Uh, my error. Okay. Typo error. Okay. Um, but you get one equation. Equation one. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think the A is not there. La, because it started to cost 30. Yeah. Uh, Substitute cost 30, cost 30 is how much? Uh? Cost 30 is what? Uh? Cost 30 is what? Uh? Uh, Zero minus, um, multiply by 4 is 1 point something. Uh, 5 minus this one is 1 point something. Uh? Become 1.2, right? Okay, typo error, uh, no A. Typo error, uh, no A. Okay, once you have that one, you use the equation to derive for others. So S square equal to 5 minus 4 cos theta, this one from the cosine rules just now. You derive with, to get your acceleration. To get your acceleration, right? This is, uh, so this is velocity, right? Okay. Uh, I put uh, chain rules here to find the square one. So dv dt square, you use chain rules, you will get this, this uh, equation. Okay, go home and uh, read this one. Huh? So I just apply the chain rules over here. Okay. I'll get this one. And this one. Okay, I get the second equation. Okay, here. And here. Okay. Okay, so you get the second equation, you substitute 30 degree and velocity 0 0.5 there. 0 0.5 there, huh? 
how you get here to here or yeah, here to here by using chain rules. Huh? There's a chain rules already work out for you already. You just substitute the value. You get omega, which is your angular velocity, 0 0.6 something dn per second. Okay. Then you time, take the time derivative again. Chapter 5 is a loss of uh, time derivative with the cosine things. Huh? Uh, then you convert what you have here. For example, this one, ds dt is v, 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 you get v square. S, you copy, dv, dt, get acceleration. And d theta, dt, you get omega, 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 omega square. And this one, omega, uh, angular velocity divided uh, by time or differentiate with time, you get angular acceleration. You substitute at s dv dt zero. ps given, theta given, you substitute inside, you get alpha. Okay, and it's negative. Okay. So, negative acceleration, it means deacceleration, the window slow down. Okay, it means angular will slow down. It slow down when it come to 30 degree. At start, it opened up very fast, but when it opened up to 30 degree, it slow down. The window will slowly stop. Yeah. Uh, this is how you analyze for dynamic question. Okay, it will take some time. I think the challenging part is your mathematics derivation, the, the mathematics uh, steps. Cosine rules and differentiation of your signs and cos. Go home and recap that. Okay. So if you if you look back the whole question, uh, if you look back at the whole question, we take away all the mathematics steps. You focus on the step or the, the, the big steps to solve this kind of question. You always look at the position system, convert the, the, the dimension by using uh, cosine rules or cos rules, huh? the triangular. Then you will get to one equation. After you get one equation, you start to think what is uh, how you link back the omega and alpha. Now, in this case, you take time derivative from the equation. You convert this v, uh, this s, this diameter, uh, a, b dimension into v and omega. Okay, into v and omega. So, this slide is derived from the uh, triangular just now. Okay, you get that. And this kind of question is very popular for test two. And go home and polish up your cosine rules. This one. Okay. Again, uh, this triangular is important. Once you get this one, polish up your chain rules. This one. Chain rules. How you do uh, how you do yeah. This is chain rules. This is U, this is V. You complete chain rule here. Yeah, go ahead and uh, look at your chain rules. Huh? Okay, we have a short break. We'll continue with relative motion. Yeah, okay. Huh? We continue uh, 11, 10, 10 minutes break. Yeah. 